Right, so I decided to do <coughs> a few vlogs just seeing only showing my ugly face and chatting about stuff regarding the car trade and uh, I'm telling you to not, to not to believe what some people are saying especially the people which are involved with Auto Trader which is a particular channel called uh, Car Dealer Life or something or Car Dealer Magazine something like that anyway and um, I just watched a video on YouTube the other day and they were saying there was this lady Catherine or something from Auto Trader which is like some kind of boss down there like, like marketing whatever saying yeah we see strong positions in the market and the market is going well and uh, yeah we could we, we can see growth coming next year and things are leveling up that's complete bollocks that's other bollocks other other bollocks it is that you know why because everyone sees how the market is going it's shit <laughs> compared with last year is completely rubbish it's worse than 2019 before covid so if you're watching these channels and you're thinking oh yeah i should invest more in the business and uh yeah buy more cars and expensive cars or stuff like that because these people are saying yeah we 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 know about it if, if, the, the, the funny part is that she actually says there that uh, we're just following the data we're following the data well the data is not like what people feel at the moment or because people generally have no money at the moment to, to spend money on the cars no that's why uh, still the cheap cars cheap small economical cars are still the main the main cars you want to sell at the moment you know don't believe these people uh, saying that they see growth in the market and all that follows because it's not true we can see it ourselves and we started quite well and we spent money and we had good stock and we expanded a bit you know so now it is way much harder first of all it's much harder to sell a car because we get a lot of people coming over having a look around being undecided uh okay we gotta think again so we had cars which they sold like fucking i don't know three four weeks after we had the first thing on it and people have decided to come and buy it because the only reason is um they could have find anything better so now prepping your car is right and having all the documentation with it and having a good presentation and stuff like that matters well much more than last year is last year you were selling cars because people want was were wanting cars and they had uh, they had nothing else to spend the money on uh, that's fair enough but now you have to put way up much more effort in order to sell a car and the big issue is that the cars are still expensive and they still the values are still holding up which is really annoying first of all i would like for the values to go down because this will make cars more affordable people will be able to buy them and run them as well because you have to live in cost you have the uh, price of fuel is still high the electric is like it's whoa <laughs> Um, I was just checking the other day for just one day sitting in the house running two electric heaters then cooking twice that day um, it did cost me about 16 pounds just for a day and yeah it's, it's quite it's quite bad you know so these people they're still going coming there and they're like, like designer clothes and their shiny glasses and hey, hey yes we do see a growth the market still is still healthy and goes well and then it's bollocks don't believe that don't fail for it it's my this is my advice now it's up to you how you decide you're running your business but this is what we see it around the market compared to what some people so you can't trust people from auto trader because they have these hugely expensive advertising packages so what they do they will like they they're still trying to put trust into people so people they will keep up and pay these packages you know rather than just okay i'll go on a pay as you go and uh yeah save me some money so yeah there are a few advantages with it i'll not say no but they're still too expensive for this moment they're quite expensive especially for small businesses like us or someone that's just selling cars from home